What's up, everybody? We got episode 5 of Daryl Dix in the Book of Carol this weekend, but before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you're not missing out on any breakdowns, reviews, or the daily news in the future. With that being said, let's get into the episode. We pick back up with Daryl and Carol as they continue to struggle with their car, carrying that over from the end of last week's episode, but the more important thing that's carried over is Daryl not being able to keep his head on straight, not knowing where Laurent is. He's safe, though, as Falou got him to the rooftop community from Season 1, where Cadrone shows up not long after they do. Carol is taking Daryl back to meet Ash, but when they arrive, he's gone. He also built a fortress with traps and everything while Carol was away, which was catching things alive and dead. We find him running from a small herd and trapping himself in a van and probably getting a concussion too. Carol and Daryl continue their search for Laurent though, which leads them to the rooftop community. Cadrone gets a good moment here showing how burdened he is by his own guilt after he was consumed by rage in season one. He's forgiven and then Daryl has to break the news to Laurent. There's a moment between the two where they're raising each other's spirits but that's quickly put out as Laurent tells Daryl he wants to stay in Paris. That one really shakes Daryl up and luckily Carol's there to keep him up insisting he can't let the past become a giant hole of what ifs. From there they head back to another season one location, the Demi Moan. They're looking for any information on where Ash is and they find it as some of his fuel that Jeanette's men stole is at the club. Anna Valerie is running the club now and she's not far from the previous owner as she'll give Daryl what he wants but there's no trust there. Then back at the rooftop, the drone gets a health lesson from Laurent but more importantly gets another great moment in an episode he dominated. They use Laurent's curiosity to get into his mind a bit going back to what I talked about earlier in the breakdown with his fear and anger making things worse as we saw in season one. Carol and Daryl reluctantly head back to Jeanette's base which is a shell of what it used to be. There's still plenty of walkers though, some still contained in the areas where uh, Jeanette likely experimented on them as we got a classic scene here too of Daryl and Carol just taking out walker on walker on walker. As that's going down, Lasson comes to the rooftop looking for Laurent. Kajron rushes to hide him and the members of the community help out with that too as Falou really helps out though, riling the people up with his speech, calling out Lasson's broken faith with his, with his pursuit of proof. We then see Carol's faith pay off once again as she and Daryl find Ash hidden in the van. This was kind of a dumb move, trapping themselves in the car, but it ends up paying off. They turn a few walkers into super walkers and just let them take care of the rest. So, with Ash saved, Carol's prepping the plane and Daryl's going back to the club for fuel. Not only does Anna have that for him, she also has Laurent and Cadrone in the club. We finally find out why Laurent doesn't want to go with Daryl to America and it's because he doesn't want Daryl to die. Since before he was born, people have been dying around him starting with his mother who he came out of and she was dead so he just lives with constant fear of losing his loved ones. On the flip side, Carol tries to come clean to Ash but he reveals the trip helped him get over the guilt he carried about his own son, so she can't muster up the courage here. Back at the club, Lasong and his new army arrive looking for the boy. Anna rushes them off once again, but they're seen, and I love the actors in Lasong's crew really showing that urgency and panic they have here as they are a tad bit crazy, but it was really solid here in this scene. We get this shadow fight with Daryl and Cadrone down in the catacombs going ham on Lasong's crew and Cadrone puts the fear of God into Jacinta. Daryl gets the best of Lasong too, which is a nice way of putting it, as he uses a skull to bash his head in, just like he did back in the show uh, at the hospital with the cops. I don't remember if he killed or just knocked out one of the cops with a skull, but that was an amazing scene back in the show, and kind of a nice little callback here in this one. The episode closes back at the plane as Carol finally tells Ash the truth. He seems to take it kind of well, but still the ends don't justify the means for him. Daryl and Laurent arrive though, and for a moment, Ash is fine. That quickly vanished though, at least this is how I read the scene, as he said the plane isn't taking off with the four of them on it. I don't think that has anything to do with the plane itself and what it can carry, but Ash's unwillingness to fly with Carol again after her lie. I thought that was another solid episode for the show, carried by the side characters this week. There weren't any performances that were crazy good throughout the episode, although members of the cast did have good moments, which I highlighted throughout the breakdown as the Cadrone storyline 
really lifted this episode up for me big time. And so that'll do it for my breakdown of episode 5 from Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol. It was nice to revisit some season 1 locations, but this just, it felt like a classic Walking Dead episode to me, and I loved that. Let me know what you thought about episode 5, though, down in the comments below, and make sure you have a great day.